All right. I want you to be prepared for this because this affects you. Trump tweeted this out yesterday and then retweeted himself for prime engagement. Pro move. Now that the Federal Reserve has cut interest rates to near zero, what does this mean for you? With interest rates for the United States being at zero, this is the time to do our decade-long awaited infrastructure bill. It should be very big and bold, $2 trillion, and be focused solely on jobs and rebuilding the once great infrastructure of our country. Phase four. Now, at first glance, I like that. That sounds good. I like jobs. I like infrastructure. Because an additional $2 trillion phase four infrastructure bill is meant to do the same thing as the Fed or QE or Netflix, which is prop up the economy. As a smart investor, though, I want you to think about this. Where are they going to get that $2 trillion? Well, that's going to be loaned out from the banks. I mean, that's what a near zero interest rate is intended to do. The only problem is, and how this affects you, are these debt clocks. The national U.S. debt, the debt per citizen per you, the debt per taxpayer, I, I assume you. These are rallying out of control in these last few weeks. Let's listen to Trump explain what he meant by this tweet. Uh, John, please. Uh, Mr. President, you, tweet, you. you tweeted earlier today uh, that now would be a good time to start looking for more yeah. if there is a light at the end of the tunnel and work on an infrastructure bill. Yeah. Again, you suggested it should be $2 trillion, which is twice what the last one was, or the proposal at least. Um, are you anticipating that, like after the economic crisis of 2008, 2009, America will need to have so-called shovel-ready jobs ready to go to get people back to work? Well, the problem with that one is they had maybe shovel-ready jobs, maybe not, but they never used it for the purpose of infrastructure. So far, nobody's been able to find any money that was spent on infrastructure. I want to use it for infrastructure. And one of the reasons I'm suggesting it, John, is we're paying zero interest. The United States is paying almost zero interest rate. The Federal Reserve lowered the rate, the Fed rate, and that and a combination of the fact that everybody wants to be in the United States. You know, we have the a dollar that's very strong, and I know that sounds good, but it does make it hard to manufacture and sell outside because other currencies are falling and our currency is very strong, plus the virus at 151 countries. They all want to come into the United States. And so we have a zero interest rate, essentially. And I said, wouldn't this be a great time to borrow money at zero interest rate and really build our infrastructure like we can do it? So the plan was the Republicans had a plan of about 750. Uh, I would say they were where at seven, five. You had the Democrats were a little less than a trillion dollars. The Republicans were a little bit less than that. And I'm suggesting two trillion dollars. We redo our roads, our highways, our bridges. We fix up our tunnels, which are many of them in bad shape like coming into New York, as you know, a lot, really bad shape. And we really do a job on our infrastructure. And that me doesn't mean we're going to do the Green New Deal, because I won't do it. I won't approve it. We're not going to do the Green New Deal and do spend, you know, 40 percent of the money on things that uh, people just have fun with. But how would you pay for it, sir? Uh, we're going to borrow the money at zero percent interest. OK, so they're going to borrow. And again, my explanation here today, maybe it's an oversimplification, but just notice how quickly things seem to be escalating because the Fed, the government, they opened up the floodgates two, three weeks ago. And hey, what did we see? Not much from the economy. Trump tweeted that out yesterday. And make no mistake about it, this is intended to make people feel better about the economy saying, do not worry, we have another $2 trillion coming at this economy if slash when we need to keep trying to jumpstart it. And how did the market respond yesterday? Meh. Today? Mm. Doesn't seem to be responding. Now here is how this affects you as a Bitcoin holder, how this affects you. It's pretty clear how Bitcoin affects you big picture wise. Bitcoin is a peaceful protest out of this big picture, but how this affects you small picture. I'm talking in the next two weeks, small picture as a Bitcoin holder, Trump got on the stage. Let me play you one more clip. And we're ready to go. We're all ready. We're, we have trucks ready. We have everything ready because as we're saying, John, this could be a hell of a bad two weeks. This is going to be a very bad two and maybe even three weeks. This is going to be three weeks like we haven't seen before. 
Should the hospitals be prepared for that? Uh, we were here well, I think the hospitals... That they're facing what looks like a medical war zone. In some yeah, of these they, they are going to be facing a war zone. That's what it is. Uh, I've, heard, I've heard some of the paramedics and some of the doctors, they said they weren't, they've been in war zones. They've, been, they've never seen anything like this. You look at Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, I've never seen... I mean, I look, I just think it's so... Because that's a hospital that's near where I grew up. And it's, it is a war zone in a true sense. Yeah, please. Yeah. Because based on the data that we have, based on the models that we received yesterday, right now we're around right here. In two weeks, we're projected to be here. These next two to three weeks, this is truly the make or break time to attempt to blunt the curb. Now, that's not to say that health shouldn't be the main priority. The dinosaurs didn't see a potential health threat and go, oh shit, the economy but one does affect the other. And it's a very interesting battle we are seeing right now that we've never really seen for, to this gravitas in human existence ever. Now, today I do have major news involving Binance. This is not an April Fool's joke. This is direct news from Binance. So make sure you watch today's entire video. Watch today's entire video. But as a Bitcoin holder in the first quarter, so starting right around here to now today, right around here, Bitcoin outperforms Dow and S&P 500 in the first quarter. Despite its recent crash, the Bitcoin price is still doing better than major U.S. stock indices, relatively speaking. Now, in these next two to three weeks, if the markets should tank again and nobody can see the future, maybe the stimulus, maybe Trump's tweets, maybe they'll work. But if the market should tank again, make no mistake about it, Bitcoin will tank, probably will even tank harder. Bitcoin's more volatile, Bitcoin's more of a speculation. But if this quarter is anything similar to first quarter, Bitcoin should recover first. I can't see the future, I'm not a financial advisor. So you tell me what you think down below in the comments. First piece of news, Egypt's banks are told to limit withdrawals and deposits. Egyptian banks have been instructed to apply temporary limits on daily withdrawals and deposits in a move seemingly designed to control inflation and to control hoarding during the pandemic spread. Whoa, I thought it was your money. Well, I guess it is until the banks decide they're gonna control it too. Next piece of news, economist Jeffrey Tucker, very well respected in traditional finance. He tweeted out, could you imagine Bitcoin's price if it had scaled? Here it is right here. I'm not impressed by a 6K price of BTC. I was blown away when the thing reached $30. But can you imagine the price today if the thing had scaled properly? He's essentially saying is, eh, it's a failed experiment, but look at what it did. Jeffrey's probably a Ripple or a Tron fan if he, if he thinks scaling gives something value. I liked this tweet from Tone Vase. We retweeted it. He's responding to this Jeffrey Tucker tweet. If Bitcoin had scaled the way that you wanted, it would be totally useless as a future safe haven asset against the US dollar, the euro, and the Fed printing money. It would be just another centralized currency under full control of a single person or a small group of people who might even implement a tax. BCH, anyone? If Bitcoin scaled the way that Jeffrey Tucker wanted it to, or BCH is scaling the way that Bitmain CEO and Roger Veer wants BCH to scale to, then what is it? Just another, another centralized currency. Next piece of news, Binance Crypto Exchange. Binance is launching its first Bitcoin mining pool. This is the direct tweet. Yes, this is a Binance mining pool coming soon. And somebody asked him and no, it is not an April Fool's joke. Binance will control, they're aiming to control a major mining pool in Bitcoin. Let's check this out. The news was broken Tuesday by the Russian crypto news publication CoinLife and later confirmed by three sources in the mining business. Binance CEO CZ tweeted about the pool on Wednesday. The company has already hired some professionals for this purpose, some of them former Bitmain employees. The launch is planned for Q2 2020. So this is coming up. And honestly, some people are screaming that, wow, this is a bad thing. Binance is going to try and control a piece of Bitcoin's mining pools. And honestly, this is this is Bitcoin working, in my opinion. This is the game theory for Bitcoin. I think we're going to see more corporations come online and say, hey, we want to dedicate some of our resources to try and mine Bitcoin. 
And keep in mind, the exchange is not leading. Binance Exchange is following the lead of its peers, OKX and Huobi, which launched their own mining pools in August and September 2019, respectively. Now, both those exchange pools, Huobi and OKX, are currently among the top 10 pools producing the most blocks in the Bitcoin blockchain, according to blockchain.com. So based on this, I mean, there's no reason not to suspect that Binance is probably going to have a top 10 mining pool in, in Bitcoin mining. This is Bitcoin's game theory working. I don't want to see less of this. I want to see more of this. I hope every exchange does this. I hope every corporation does this. We'll see. All right, that is the video for today. My name's Austin, by the way. Give it a like if you found value. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.